This is Mark Hipskin from MPM Food Equipment Group. We're the U.S. distributor for the Pizza Master Ovens. We believe training and support is paramount in getting a great return on your Pizza Master investment. And we are here with you every step of the way. This video series will help you get up and running quickly and smoothly. And we'll share with you some of our knowledge, our top tips, to help you get the best performance out of your Pizza Master oven. Hi everybody, we're looking at the Pizza Master steam system operation. Let's talk a little bit about the system itself and how to get you going with your steam system on your Pizza Master oven. To begin with, there's a label here that has all the instructions. You want to have you and the installer or the person that's starting up the system read that carefully. But we're going to go through everything with you right now, just in case. The first step is your clean water line. Before it's actually connected to the oven, you'll want to have a bucket, a large bucket, five, ten gallons, and you'll open your valve and you'll let the water flow free, freely into the bucket to make sure it's free of debris, especially in a new construction setting that might have drywall or construction dirt. So let it roll and as, and as long as everything looks like it's free and clear, you can turn off the valve and then connect it to the oven. This black piece here is a water stopper that would prevent any water from coming in and, and flooding the restaurant. This is a three-quarter U.S. threading. Obviously, you would connect it with your plumber's tape, have a nice secure uh, footing in the oven, and then it comes up through, and this is your, basically your whole steam system, your solenoid, your pressure gauge, and let's go through what we do from this point. This little silver valve here is your air valve. You wanna make sure that the line is free of any air. So what you would do is turn the valve, you'll see water spray out. Again, you'll want your bucket, so you keep your, your floors dry. And as long as you see a free flow of water here with no air, you're free to turn and close the valve down. And you go to your next step, which is to increase your pressure to where it needs to be to make your steam. This blue knob here is your pressure knob. You want to start out all the way counterclockwise. There's a plus and a minus. So you start all the way to the minus. You'll feel it, it ends. Here is the very, very important part. You want to very deliberately and slowly turn this blue valve. It's going to be four full revolutions but it could be dozens of little turns because you want to do this deliberately slowly. It's very important. If you do it too fast, the system just won't run right. And this is all on the setting stage, so you want to do this very carefully. So we will turn this four full turns and we will watch our pressure gauge. And there's a, a little green area and we'll come and do a close up, but it's about at one bar. We want to make sure that the gauge gets up into that green zone where we have proper pressure for the system to work properly. And that is really basically all the preparation necessary on the back end of the oven. I also wanted to point out this little valve here on the other side of the oven. Some people think that this is a drain and they need to attach a drain to it. Actually, no, there is no drain necessary. All of the steam, all of the water that needs to go into this to, to create the steam, it 100% of it gets vaporized. So it's, there's no water runoff, no need for a drain. I also wanted to mention this piece here. This is simply an air vent. This is not a drain. You don't need to connect any drain to it. Every bit of water that goes into the steam system is used and it's vaporized. So there's no water roll off or runoff. So again, this is just a vent. The last part of this steam system, once you've gone through two successful cycles, you simply take a Phillips screwdriver and there is a lock screw at the top of this blue pressure valve that you just wanna tighten down. That way, this remains nice and secure. No problem with any 
vibrations, moving it, and you're good to go. Once we've done all our work in the back of the oven, making sure our water is connected properly and our pressure is proper, we come to the front. We turn on the oven and we make sure we're at least 450 degrees Fahrenheit. We've chosen 500 just to be safe. And we have uh, our top and bottom settings at a, at, a, at a fairly medium pace at six and five. And we see that our steam button has turned green. That means we have proper heat and everything's ready to go. So if we press our steam button, what will happen is there will be one full cycle of steam. It will burst three times. You'll hear That will last about 12 seconds or so. That will be one cycle. And typically you'll hear hissing and snapping and crackling and popping in the back, the trough. And we'll show you a close up of what that looks like. But you should see some a little bit of steam come out the corners of the door and also rolling up the front you might see sort of a, a rainbow color on the stainless steel. Please refer to the owner's manual that came with your Pizza Master oven for further details on what you've learned in this video. We've also set up a knowledge center on our website where you can view all of our support videos on a variety of Pizza Master topics.